Okay, I'm here at the front of the property. Uh, we'll do the exterior. Um, so here we are in the front yard. And really I'm just looking for, um, we're just gonna look and uh, check out drainage uh, and then also um, just any cracks along the uh, base of the foundation. Uh, so here, here we are in the front. Um, real quick though, let's see, we'll go over lot size. So this is uh, 0.5, so a half an acre. A lot of it is unusable. We'll get into the um, to more details on that in the back. So it's uh, a little under 22,000 square feet. Um, so a good size lot, right, um, t in total. But as we'll discuss in the back, not all of it is usable. So we have this good front yard area. Um, don't see any cracking now, you know, what we, you know, they had this the right way at least at one point. So they have, you want to see the uh, drains uh, from the gutters go underneath. Um, they have one, uh, it's a flimsy uh, plastic flexible pipe, but that probably broke. So we've got, um, you know, just it connected to this little discharge here, which is kicking out at least away from the foundation. Um, uh, but again, the, the proper way is to do what it looks like had been done previously, which is to go underground. Okay, so if you have all of this um, water just dumping here at the base, um, which is what most of these older homes, that's when you start seeing the, the foundation um, or at least uh, cracking. Um, it's just from water accumulation, which is uh, compromising the soil, which then has less support for the, for the base. It's fairly simple. So as a recommendation, we always want to, um, you know, address drainage by having uh, the, um, the water discharge underground and then away from the property. So um, I suspect that in that garage area, we just have a lot of water that was collecting um, near the, the, the entry of the door, or sorry, of the garage area. So um, another one right here. So this is just dumping. This is not good to see. Right, it's not, it's not, I mean, I, this is me being overly, um, you know, anal about these type of issues, but if you can imagine, this, this particular area has not had any underground drainage since it was built 50 years ago. So the home is fine, right, um, from a, a foundation issue, but, you know, how much more time can, you know, it just keep on collecting all this water here? And that could be a reason why it's bleeding and affecting the, um, the garage opening here. So we have some offsetting, right? When you look at the garage a floor slab, this was poured on top of it. So um, either this has risen up or the slab has sunken in. But this is exactly why there's severe cracking. Um, or anticipate a major reason why there's cracking in the garage um, concrete slab is there's this crack here. And now all this water that comes down, so even though it's, it's, it's sloped out this way, all this water is collecting in that crack and getting underneath, uh, which has caused that crack, uh, the big cracks in the, um, in the inside garage slab. Okay, so ultimately this needs to be flattened out. This needs, this driveway should connect and there should be a French drain in front to collect all the water and then shooting it out. So at least this one here we have going underground, which is good. Could use better quality materials, but um, that's the reason why it's cracking in the garage. We can talk more about that if, um, in detail, if it's um, you know some something that you want to entertain. So here you can see a stucco crack. Uh, we haven't talked about stucco. Stucco is very brittle as it is, so you often see any stucco house. There's going to be cracks along windows, the corners of windows. And in this case, kind of have an idea of why that cracks there because of all this water accumulation in the front there. But again, this is leaning. This part of the foundation here is leaning because of the compromised soil, which is creating that crack right there. All right, so all this looks good. So yeah, this is a half an acre. So there's an underground drain there, so that's good. Um, so we have this little deck coming off of that bonus room in the back of the family room. And then here's the family room. So this deck is, uh, feels like it's in uh, good condition. It looks 
more weathered than it feels. It's probably just paint that needs to be polished a little bit. Um, okay, so here we got another crack at the base of the foundation. And then like I said, stucco, there's always gonna be, typically you see cracks like right here, but here you can see cracks around the corners, right? So this, this is something, you know, it's not severe, but you definitely don't wanna see that. Um, but it'd be good to have that come with an inspection. But my suspicion when I see this, this is a water pipe. There was probably a leak under there for, you know, how, who, who knows how long, but a long time that never got addressed. So a bunch of water accumulation underneath this, most likely from that pipe. Okay, so, um, you know, there is a flat part, which is good. Oh, also, not good to have this tree so close to the home because these roots um, can get into the foundation. They probably already have. So you see some more cracks there uh, uh, around the vents. I would definitely, you know, consider taking out that tree just so you don't have to worry about it getting further into the foundation. You can see there's a history of trees being taken down in the front at least and then there's one right there. So this is a good flat area. It's great. You got a drain here. So some water accumulation um, will get um, discharged out. But most of this lot is unusable because of this steep hill. So as I mentioned in my email to you, um, this goes probably further back. Or actually, it probably goes down to that, um, I don't think you can see it, but a wired fence there. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of it is unusable because of this hill. So, you know, kids will probably want to wander back there and it's kind of cool. It feels like you're in the, the woods, etc. But clearly um, can be, um, you know, dangerous um, sliding down, falling down the hill. So you may want to consider putting up a fence here. Um, but this is part of the land down there. And um, these are all oak trees. So you really can't do too much with it because you can't just cut down these oak trees. They're protected. Um, so even though it's a lot of land on paper, half a, uh, uh, an acre, you can't, can't really do, you know, anything with it. And, you know, maybe some of that will change with it. Um, uh, the recent bill that was passed, um, uh, but, um, AB9, sorry, um, but, um, you know, maybe they'll relax some of the requirements, but that's, that's undetermined at this point. Um, so we can't make decisions on, you know, uh, something that hasn't been finalized yet, which is uh, the case with um, many uh, government things right now, especially like Prop 19. Um, a lot of the um, a lot of the uh, guidelines have not been set yet, and again, even with um, the new bill uh, to be able to subdivide uh, the lot to create um, two properties, you, you can't really do too much here um, because of the hill. Now. If you're very quiet, the other thing I want to point out, if you're very quiet, so Moraga Way, even though on the map it looks like it's far off, and we are higher than it, so it will carry a little bit, but Moraga Way is, is, a, is a very busy street. It's the uh, artery that connects uh, Lafayette to Moraga. It is down there on the other side, so you can hear it. Cannot, you cannot hear it inside at all, but outside, it's actually not that bad. It's just This is just me being you know, super anal and um, you can't hear it. Um, but I think, um, you know, at least from, from my perspective, I am very sensitive to it as well as my wife. Um, it's not enough to really kind of, you know, uh, ruin the uh, atmosphere while you're outside. So it's not gonna ruin your experience while you're outside, but it is there. And sometimes it kind of, you know, sounds like artificial ocean. Okay, another thing. There's that church, I pointed this out, there's a church back there. You can't even see it, so no concern there because of all these tree coverage, but it's about 500 feet that way is that, is that church. But um, it's not really impacting because A, you can't see it, and B, you've got all this um, kind of tree hill space in between. Okay, so um, I think I spent a good amount of time talking about the outside, but um, anyhow, that's, uh, that's the full property. Uh, please let me know if you are interested and um, we can have you come out and take a, take a, uh, to look for a look while in person um, at the property and uh, take things from there. So let me know if you want to schedule an appointment and um, uh, it's easy to, to see because it's vacant. Okay, thank you. Bye.